Welcome back to the channel today. I put together another complete back wiggle for width and thickness. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're doing four moves. We're hitting the entire back today. So the back is primarily made of three big muscle groups. We have your traps, your mid traps, your actual lats, and then your rectors. And then what makes up the complete back, which is gonna fill in those little spots and details, your teres major and minor, your rhomboids, and your rear delts. And that's gonna complete your entire back. So I put together four movements that are gonna hit every part of your back. All right guys, so we're doing three hard sets. And guys, every set is going to failure and then finishing with as many reps as you can with long length partials. Yes, I put this together to be a brutal workout to elicit the most amount of muscle growth we possibly can. So we're starting off with assisted pull-ups. The reason why I want assisted pull-ups is so we get a good stretch. We're getting our torso nice and stretched, opening our lats up, and then getting a full contraction at the top, and that's why I want assisted reps. Not going to failure, we're going to like maybe like five reps of failure, just get yourself warmed up, and then followed by four exercises. Subinated pull-downs, followed by T-bar row, and then seated cable row, and then finishing off with straight on pull-downs, and we'll have substitutions for all those exercises. All right, first off, we're doing only two sets. We're taking it to about five reps to failure. So like very light set. All right, so if you have an assisted machine at your gym, use that completely fine. If you don't, you can use resistance bands and hook up like this, or you can hook it up this way. Where basically you measure where your hip is, your hip height, and then put the rack where your hip height is. And then you wanna take the resistance band and then wrap it on the outside to the other, and then you can step in it that way. So I'm gonna do it like this. The reason why we're doing assisted is because all I want is for you to get full range of motion. We just wanted to be able to open our body up so when we're doing the other exercises, we're completely ready to go. So you can step in it two feet like this, hands about outside shoulders apart, keep your chest nice and high, and then pulling up elbows to the side of your body and controlling it down. Nice stretch to the bottom, pulling up. Nice stretch to the bottom. Don't try to reach your chin over the bar, just think greeting your chest to the bar and that's gonna help you naturally pull your elbows to the side of your body. And pull, I don't want you struggling at all. And one more, control it down and relax. Give yourself two minutes and get right back in and do it again. And then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. So next exercise guys, we're, do we're doing three sets to failure with long length partials to the very end. So how this works is you're gonna go into your set, you're gonna come to failure, Basic failure is once you can't get the full range of motion. So I don't want anything after that. As soon as you can't get the full range of motion, you're gonna take it to give yourself about like a couple seconds in the lengthened position, about 10 seconds to catch your breath, and then you're gonna bang out hey, as yep. many reps as you can with the long length partial. Now your long length partial isn't gonna be this weird thing at the end where we're kind of like, uh, uh. your long length partial is gonna be like this compared to your pull down. So your pull down is from here, all the way to here. That's your four range of motion. Once you can't get all the way down, your long length partial is gonna be from here to here, right? We want a good amount of stretch. We don't want like this to this, and just kinda of like, ugh, ugh. We want from here to here. You can use a little body English, it's fine if we're like this, and we're getting to here. We use a little body English for that, it's completely fine. But that's where we want our long length partial to be from here to here in comparison from here all the way down. Okay guys, so my first exercise, I chose to do supinated pull downs. I love doing pull downs. The reason why is we're getting most of the back working again. We're getting our lats working, we're getting our traps working as well too with scapular attraction and all the other muscles. So we're getting a good combination of everything. And when we're supinated, we get a little more of that teres minor activation. So you're actually activated a little bit more consciously when you're getting into position. Now I didn't use my fancy handles because I want to be as common as everybody else. So I use the easy bar handle because most people don't have my fancy handles. That's all I'm trying to say. Taking each sweat to fill in. Now, I wanna make sure we're doing just a warm up set, get yourself just set up and active from here. Now, I'm just using this. It's the same thing at your gym if you have a regular pull down machine with cable. Just make sure we're nice and tight underneath the thigh. Chest nice and tall right away. Think about pulling with your elbows and not your hands. Don't pull like this to come here. Think about pulling your elbows down, keeping your chest up, and then only toward the coming to your side. You're done here, your rep is done. Just to make it even more tighter, think about pushing your chest up and then your elbows to the floor. That's gonna keep, that's gonna make your lats work more. Now, when I say elbows to the floor, I mean push down. I don't mean do this, because now we're getting our shoulders in and we don't need this. We just wanna be from here to here. All the way up, a nice stretch, and then 
back down and coming up. Nice stretch, keep your chest up and down. I'll bring these reps to failure. Now I wanna go 10 to 15 reps, so in between that, if you fail at 10 or you fail at 15, or in between 10 to 15, that's what we want. So just give yourself a little bit of a warm up to start, to get yourself situated, and then taking those reps to fill your next three sets. Now, now your tempo's gonna be this, simple, just control tempo. One to two second negative, a for sure one second pause at the stretch, and like a half of a second squeeze at the contractions. So this is a stretch from here, then pull up. Basically catch that, retraction at the bottom, nice quick squeeze, and then control on the way on the way up. And it's basically here, 1,001, 1,002, stretch, 1,001, 1,002, stretch, 1,001, 1,002, stretch. And that's how your set's gonna look. All right, that's it. Catch your breath, two minutes, and then give yourself time to get to your next exercise. Set yourself up. We're gonna do one warm up set just to get a feel. That'll be T bar next. Next, we have T bar row, 10 to 50 sets again to failure with the long length partials at the end. Now, as you go exercise, exercise, expect your strength to start decreasing, which is completely fine because what we're doing is we're creating tension from set to set to set. So as we go, we got max tension. So from here, we wanna really milk the stretch in this. In this exercise, guys, we're getting both lats, but because we're gonna grab the wider grip here, we're gonna hit a lot more upper traps, rhomboids, rear delts, and lats. A little bit of erectors uh, in the end to keep stabilization. So what we're gonna do is a couple things. I'm gonna grab the outside. Right now, if, we're, if we don't have this machine, then you can do chest-supported dumbbell rows. And to make sure that happens, we wanna make sure that we open up our arms a little bit more to hit the same muscles we're hitting here by just mimicking our hand positioning here by opening our arms up when you're doing chest support dumbbell row. Now a couple cues here, get straps again, use them, they're gonna help out a lot when it comes to going to failure and then long length partials. Also, when we're doing this, try not to use your thumb, right? We can just use kind of this hook here with our hand, obviously with the straps, but also letting us pull with the elbows. And then while I'm doing this, I'm still pushing down on the machine. I'm pushing down like this. I'm pushing like this while I'm pulling the weight back. That's gonna get my lats to work right away, as well as my traps, my rhomboids, rear delts, and all that good stuff. So again, pulling right off. Get your chest up a little bit higher so we're not basically choking ourselves from here. Let the weight come all the way down. Let those scaps open right up. Right, I'm pushing onto the handles, I'm on my palm, there's pressure pushing down, my lats are engaged, and then I'm pulling up. Elbows are gonna stay the same, elbows are gonna stay stacked behind the handles, and we're pulling up, and then controlling it down. Stretch, pull. Big stretch, pull. And we wanna come up a slight bit, but not all the way down to our lower backs coming off. We wanna come up just to our chest, our scaps, our, our track and open up and down 10 to 15 reps. If your traps don't feel like they're just on fire and pumped, rewatch this again. So basically we've worked lats from vertical, traps, rhomboids, rear delts from horizontal. All right, now we're gonna work our erectors with the seated cable rows. Now I have a substitute for that. If you are more advanced and you have no problem activating your erectors in an upright position, with no support at all, and you're built enough that your erectors or being in a position like this isn't the limiting factor, then you're gonna do this exercise standing. If you're advanced, like I said, we can do these from a standing position. We're gonna grab the exact same handles we're gonna use when we're doing it seated. This is gonna give us a lot more free range of motion with our drive of our elbows, so we don't have to worry about the, the handle being in a thick position and then us coming like this, we get to actually pull this 
right to the outside of our body. So how we're working this is, you're gonna grab your weight, you're gonna walk it back like so. So we got some slack already on the cables. Then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna tilt our chest towards like on the same angle basically as the cable. So we're here and then again, we're using our, our glutes, hamstrings and erectors as our leverage. And erectors are gonna be worked in this position from here. And then we're gonna pull right into the waist. That was a side chest up, a nice stretch, then pull. Big stretch and then pull. And then your parts will look like this from here and you'll be here, here. Keep your chest tall and try and pull just like this. That will be your partial, will be that way. And it'll be very similar when we're doing it seated as well too. So with seated, same idea, but now we get to, again, our, our rectus is still working. We're gonna be here, again, an angle towards, on the same angle as the cable, chest up. Then you sell some slack on the cable from here all the way down. You're gonna reach your way, and then drive it in, controlling it out in here, and then your partial will be like this, here. Stretch from here, right? And we're constantly putting pressure on our lats by basically pushing our hands down like this. I call it the, the melt a cow technique. We're pulling down these udders when we're rowing. So we're like this pulling. So we have constant tension on the lats instead of them being relaxed up here. So this time guys, you should be pretty tired. Pick your, choose your weight wisely again. We're gonna fail in between 10 to 15 reps with a long length partial at the end, as many reps as you possibly can. At the end, and for me, it's been around three to five reps. So we're just gonna milk good long length partials with good 400 motion reps. One more to go. Start on pull downs, same thing. Three sets to failure. Go along with partials. And guys, I'm picking a rep range that that failure and that load you're using is a very manageable load. If I was saying we're gonna do five sets to five reps to failure, it'd be heavy ass load and be pretty stupid. Stay away from the ego. You wanna basically like think of like death by pumping technique. Your everything is sore, your lats, traps, just full of blood because your form is on point. You're taking reps to like great form failure and maximum intensity and intention. Start on pull downs is next. If you don't want to do straight arm pull downs and you want to do pullovers, that's completely fine. If you're lucky enough to have the Nautilus pullover machine, you do this well too, I think it's dope. But any version of the pullover will be good when we're doing them with the cable, straight on pull downs, our long leaf partial will be a little easier to do, especially those who are on a machine. If you're doing the pull overs, just make sure we keep ourselves engaged and tight through the long length partials. When we're up again, we wanna have a little bit internal rotation so our elbows are at the side, we're not getting much flexion in the arms. When you're on your way back, your partial is gonna be from here, wherever, you, wherever you're comfortable from, wherever you're, you're feeling like a good stretch. Most people's mobility is a little different here, so go with where you feel the stretch. If you're here and your stretch is right here, then your partial is gonna be from here to here towards stretch. Mine is here, I can stretch far from here. So from here, my, I'm gonna be from here to here, and I'm just moving with my lats, keep my chest up. I'm not trying to pull my hands, I'm pulling my elbows just to there. Like where I can see the dumbbell over my head, that's my partial. This is my full rep. All the way back is here to my partial weight where it's over my forehead. My straps are off, reason being, because for me, this is a much as a feel hand positioning as it is and everything else. Instead of me having my straps on and feeling like I'm pulling this into me in any way, this allows me to really connect with how I feel that this is going to be achieved. So for here, I want pressure to be pushed down at the top and then always pressure coming from on top of the weight, not 
pulling it in like this. So we're gonna set up basically like so. That nice meteor part of hand is gonna sit over top, on top. Wrapping fully, you can have like a, like a, a suicide grip like this, or you can wrap like this, but I suggest a little grip like this so we can feel the meteor part of the hand. We're gonna walk back a bit so there's already slack on the cables. We're gonna hinge our butt back, slight bend in the knees, nice athletic position from here. And we're gonna sit into it, like a nice, we're gonna fall big chest in this way, so have a nice stretch to the top. Have a mirror pushing down from the top, and then chest gonna come up all the way out. Nice stretch, pull. Stretch, pull. On the way up, you're gonna sink your chest into it, then pull. And then your long length partial at the end of this, pull. We'll be from here, stretch in here. Big stretch from here, and here. Just a nice big stretch, and head's gonna come up. That'll be your partial for this rep. We're gonna continue. To my 15 reps right to failure. getting tired in your lats, right at the top, and then you should feel your triceps really taking over, especially at the end, especially with the long of partials, because it's gonna aid with bringing your arm back to here. So that's a good thing. If you feel your triceps at the beginning of your set, it's because you're using most of your triceps, so don't do that. That's it, guys. Great workout. For those of you guys who are really trying to grow their back, and have issues with going their back and it might be just your form or connecting or just even a workout hard enough to elicit that growth guys just give this a try this will 100 percent stimulate muscle growth and then as you continue you can do your own thing but try this to start let me know it goes in the comment section below anyway guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you guys like subscribe and share you know i'm gonna come up with that talk it is transparent vulnerable truth for coaching, johnnyshrew.com. If you want to know more about my coaching, guys, book yourself a one-hour video consult with myself. We talk about training, nutrition, supplementation, or mental health. And at the end of the consult, I deduct 100 bucks off any package that you pick. Also, guys, hit the links in the description below for those discount codes and promo codes to help save life or change life for the better. Like my school community, it is growing as we speak, guys. Join that group. We are changing lives. It's absolutely fun. You're learning. You're getting all the exclusive stuff from me for free for just $25 a month. Join it now. Until next time, add me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips. And I'll repost it for you because you know how it is. Iron Chef is Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace. I can witness. Witness? Witness the thickness. Witness the thickness. And then seated cable rows. Yeah. This, this, and then certain pull-ons. Witness the back, witness the, witness the back, thick, witness the back width, the thickness. <laughs>